How much of this is triggered by what we've already seen with the Broadcom proposed deal? Well, look, this industry is going through a huge wave of consolidation at the moment. Obviously, you mentioned the Broadcom Qualcomm deal, which kind of eclipses everything else out there at the moment, will be worth already over 100 billion, and we expect it to go up from there. Um, there is a lot of consolidation in the semi space. This deal is slightly different in terms of you're putting two quite distinct kind of semiconductor companies together. So you have on the one side Marvell, which, as you mentioned in the setup, it does uh, chips for hard drives, which really are kind of going out. So that's a very slow growth business, but quite stable. And then Cavium on the other side, which does networking processes, much faster growth, um, and really takes Marvell into a slightly different area from, from where it's been specializing traditionally. So, Chris, t take us into sort of the story here, because as, as we just heard, Marvell has been in a part of the business that has not been growing, if anything, been declining. It also has been through a pretty rough period, as I understand it. But they're going into an area that, as I understand, Intel is very dominant. Does this make sense? Uh, it does make sense. And, and you're right uh, to point out that this was actually a lower growth type of company with some challenged end markets. Uh, this is really a transformative deal for Marvell. They all of a sudden go from low growth to really a high growth company by acquiring Cavium. So uh, it is it is very important there. And um, rather than Intel, they're really competing with Broadcom here. They're the 800-pound gorilla, particularly in networking, particularly in storage. And so they're going to be a number two player in that market behind Broadcom now. Chris, how long before they get bought? Uh, it is a good question. Uh, someone else recently in a public call said, you're buying till you're bought. So today they're buying. Who knows? <laughs> Tomorrow they might be bought. I mean, it is ridiculous, isn't it? 2015, Broadcom and Avago get together. They consolidate. Then Broadcom's going after Qualcomm, which is just trying to buy NXP. Yep. If you're trying to follow this sector, Ed, I don't know where to start. Well, you just have to assume there's deals. You just yeah. you have to assume that everything is potentially for sale. And, you know, look, as the Broadcom Qualcomm situation shows us, nothing is, is too big in this space. And you have, you know, you have very ambitious, acquisitive type CEOs who, look, the market is rewarding them for doing deals. You're seeing that even in Marvell this morning. It's up sort of over 3% pre-market. The other thing really worth mentioning here is that the activist Starboard, who has been a long-time holder in Marvell, they really triggered this shake-up in the company. There was an accounting scandal back in 2015. Starboard put pressure on the company to change management, got rid of the husband and wife team who had actually been running this company and founded it, brought in this new management um, under the CEO of, of Matt Murphy, very, very good guy, very ambitious guy, who's obviously been encouraged by the activists to go out and do this deal.